all right guys so i promised you i was going to show y'all how to do some stuffed crab so I, um what i did was we're gonna do basically stuffed shells but they're the aluminum tinfoil shells because i couldn't get the cr like real crab shells unless i was gonna buy some and peel them and so what i did was i found on amazon because i couldn't find them anywhere here normally they sell them in winn dixie or any um local grocery store that we have here in louisiana um but they were sold out because it is crab season so this is a box um that i got from amazon it's 250 um let me show you what they look like let me get this open so this is how they come how they're packaged and then basically i'm doing three well five batches so five times six because each batch makes um six stuffed crabs so this is what they look like they actually look like the crab head or the body all right so and you, i just took them out in um the amount that i needed and i had some soapy warm water in the sink and i kind of let them soak in there and then rinse them off so I, i've already cleaned them um so yeah so that's basically what we have now right now i do have a half a stick of butter which is what we're gonna uh, cook our um seasoning in and um so i have here um a half of a green onion half of i mean a half of a green bell pepper half of a red bell pepper one um large yellow onion diced and then i um minced about uh six um green onions okay i do have um the two and a half cups of breadcrumbs um, we're going to use some extra large eggs. We're going to need about um, uh, five eggs for this recipe. Now, what I did was I bought some um, lump crab meat. It doesn't matter which brand. I like any type of Louisiana brand is fine. But this is lump crab meat. So I'll show you what the lump crab meat looks like. So I have three pounds of lump crab meat. And then I have some claw meat. This is, I think, claw too. This is a, a Louisiana brand. But... So I got five pounds of, um, of crab meat, but I'm only using two of the claw meat because the claw meat can be a little salty versus the white meat. So I didn't want to. And plus, this is cheaper. So like for these, they were like maybe $15 for the pound. And these were more like $8.99 a pound. So I'm going to combine them two, but I'm doing more of the, the white lump crab meat versus this because this is a little salty. Um, and basically, we're going to use some um, baking powder, and then I have some Creole mustard, and this is the brand that I use. That's about uh, five tablespoons of the Creole mustard. You want the grainy mustard, and that's what I bought the Zatarans. And then baking powder, um, that is two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Then you're going to use mayonnaise. Um, for the mayonnaise, um, we're going to use about one and a fourth of a cup of mayo. And then I got some Creole seasoning um, to season with. I'm not going to use a whole lot of, of uh, salt or anything, but that's pretty much it. Oh, and um, I don't have it out, but my garlic powder. So I'm going to go ahead. As you can see, I have my butter on the stove melting. And the first thing that we're going to do is dump our onion and bell pepper mixture in. And then I'm going to cook that until it's clear and we're going to let it cool. So I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, so I pretty much um, have all of my seasoning cooked down, as you can see. So all I'm going to do is cut my fire off, and I'm going to let this cool. All right, so I'm just going to remove this from the, from the fire and let it cool. All right, so this is all of my, my lump crab meat mixed with my um, claw meat. And what we're gonna do is, all I all I did was just add it to a bowl and I strained it. And so in the meantime, while we're waiting on our season to cool, we can go ahead and, um, and that's my five eggs. We're gonna whisk them, them together. And then we're gonna combine all of our ingredients into the bowl. Um, I did forget to mention that you are gonna need um, milk. And I buy the 2% milk and, um, it's going to be one and two thirds of a cup of milk is what we're going to use. And then we're just going to season with Tony's. I am going to add some additional parsley flakes. I'm going to put some garlic and onion powder and add a little black pepper. 
all right so once my onions and stuff cool i will be back to um show you what we do next all right so finally we got i'm gonna go ahead and whisk the eggs and i'm just gonna combine everything all right There go my egg. That was five eggs. Put that to the side. Then I'm gonna add these bread. I'm just adding everything in. I don't know how I'm gonna mix this y'all, but I said if I was gonna make it, I was gonna make a bunch because. You can freeze them, and anytime you you know you want it, you can just. I'm gonna get a spoon. You can take it out the freezer, pop it in the oven, and there you go. So again, that was one and a third. I think it was a third. One and a fourth cup. I'm sorry of mayonnaise, and it's blue paint mayonnaise. You use whatever mayonnaise you like. Our Creole mustard that was five. What I told y'all, five tablespoons. Creole mustard. All right. And this was. I'm trying to think how much baking powder I um told y'all to begin with. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Dang, why well, I can't remember? And I just um. And how many breadcrumbs? Breadcrumbs I used two and a half cups. The baking powder was two and a half. It was a two and a half teaspoons. But I'm like, I know it was about the same thing. Anywho, so got that added. I'm gonna add my milk. And that was cold milk. It was one and two thirds cup. And then the seasoning that I cooked, let me go ahead and add that to it. It's still a little, it's not cooled all the way, but I thought it was cooler than this. Let me see. But I want my, my butter out of my pan to, to be incorporated in it. So I'm going to scrape all this stuff in there. It's still a little warm. I thought it was cooled enough, but oh well, it's gonna make do. So now we're gonna have to mix all of this together. And I'm probably gonna have to get my hands up in there. But I don't want that under my fingernails, so let me grab some gloves. And before I stick my hands in there, I'm going to go ahead and hit that with my, with some garlic powder. Do some black pepper. onion powder add some more of this um parsley <clears throat> and some tonies all right that way when i stick my hands i can mix everything together oh also i forgot to tell you you do need a, a little bit of extra breadcrumbs on the side. Um, whew, whew, 
season. Oh, uh, because what you're going to do is you can form kind of like a patio or whatnot. And um, you all stuff the shells with them. And you want to be able to have some breadcrumbs to sprinkle on top. So I'm trying to see if I can mix it together. Mm -mm. I got to get grimy with it. We have to mix all of this together. So. And I'm making a big ass mess, but oh well. Trying to make sure it's all mixed in there well. I got, when I tell y'all, I got crab meat on the side of the bowl. Brandon Bo might need you to take him out. Y'all, my dog barking. But I ain't trying to lose all my crab meat and keep knocking it out. Oh. All right. <clears throat> Let me get my shells together in my pan and we'll start stuffing the uh, shells. So give me one moment. I'm gonna have to get me some more gloves too. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so we're back. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try to go ahead and stuff these with, um, with a spoon. And you just wanna kinda like or you can make a patty and press it down in there, however you want to do it. And then I do have some breadcrumbs. I'm gonna go ahead and top them with. And shake off the excess. And that's what I have. And I'm gonna just lay these down in my pan. Now, I am, um, gonna go ahead and fill my pan up with these and I'll be right back to tell you how long you're gonna put them in the oven and you can go ahead and set your oven to 400 degrees Ass. all right y'all i left it in a little longer i want to say i left it in about 35 minutes but this is what they look like fluffy light brown golden color and crispy all right well thank you guys for watching um let me know what y'all want to see next and until next time